بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وی اسٹارٹ نائن سیون ڈبل زیرو اے لیول بایولوجی انادر پریکٹیکل پیپر تھری اینڈ دس از دی نومبر ٹوینٹی ٹو سو اٹس ناٹ اے ویری اولڈ پیپر از لاسٹ ایئر لاسٹ ایگزام اینڈ اٹس اے پیپر تھری تھری ویرینٹ تھری تھری اینڈ دس از دا کوشچن نمبر ٹو وچ وی گون ٹو ٹیکل ان دس ویڈیو وی اسٹارٹ وتھ کوشچن نمبر ٹو وچ از آلویز اے مائکروسکوپ سلائڈ اینڈ دس از دا رول ان کیمبرج دا سیکنڈ کوشچن از آئی در آن اے مائکروگراف اور اے سلائڈ فرام کیمبرج از سینٹ وچ از دین given to the students to examine. So the slide K1 came from Cambridge is a slide of a stained transverse section through a plant stem. Now, of course, I don't have the slide, but I've just picked out a picture from the internet. Draw a large plan drawing of the region of the stem on K1. So this is the region for which you have to draw. Uh, so the stem is sort of round in structure, the slide by the shaded area and figure 2.1 use a sharp pencil use one rule label line and label to identify the xylem no i picked up this slide and i've done the plan drawing i've talked about plan drawings in a previous so you sort of trace it of course you won't see this diagram this diagram is of course i've placed it here but this would be on the slide and this would be on the slide and you can see the uh, If I remove this, this is actually the plan drawing. This is the plan drawing which you should have done. And as you can see in it here, it is a quarter of it. So it is this portion. So you've labeled the xylem, you have drawn it, you have shown all the curves, and this would be the plan drawing of it. And this is for five marks. And the five marks are very easily given in the mark scheme. As I told you in a previous video as well, that it is the five marks are for number one, minimum size and number of tissue layers, then draws a quarter of the stem and no cells, draws the minimum number of vascular bundles, vascular bundles subdivided, label line and label to xylem. So five marks would be given for this plan drawing. Now coming to the next part of the question. This is question two. Observe the epidermis of the stem on K1 and the layer of cells beneath. Select a group of four adjacent cells. This group must include two cells from the epidermis and two cells from below the epidermis. Each cell must touch at least two of the other cells. Make a large drawing of this group of four cells. So it must touch at least two of the other cells. So like this one is touching this one and this one. And now let's look at the other one. This one is touching this one and this one. Each cell must touch at least two of the other cells. Make a large drawing of this group of four cells. Use one rule, label line, identify the cell wall of one cell. Now, this was also again for five marks. And the marks are lines continuous, thin and sharp and no shading. Then you draw only four cells and each one touching two others. And then two lines around each cell and three lines where the cells touch. So I'm drawing this with a brown pencil here. Three lines where they touch. One line, two line, and three lines where they touch. Here also you can see one line, two line, and three lines. So two lines around each cell. So these are the two lines around each cell. This is for the cell wall. These are the two lines around each cell and three lines where the cells touch. Both cells beneath the epidermis should be deeper than the cells in the epidermis. Label line and label to cell wall. So five marks was for this diagram, which is something very simple. And I'm sure there are no problems in getting these five marks. Figure 2.2 is a photomicrograph of a stained transfer section of a stem from a different type of plant. 
Well, it's actually a monochord stem, and that was a dichord stem. Of course, you don't have to know this. Identify three observable differences other than size and color between the stem in figure 2.2 and the stem on K1. Now, I'm going to show you a slide just for a comparison. And I'm going to ask you to tell me what are the differences that you see. This is not the Cambridge slide, but I'm just giving you because I, I can guess what the slide was like. This was probably what the slide looked like. I'm not sure it was exactly this. It could be something like this. Now it says, identify three observable differences other than size and color between the stem in figure 2.2 and the stem on K1. This was K1. Now, what are the differences that you see? It says observable differences, no similarities. So the fact that you organize that in a proper manner and you gave three columns and you said features, one column, then K1, and then figure 2.2, which is this one. Then you got one mark. And then you give them three different three differences. Now you can see the differences here. Number of vascular bundles. In K1, they are less. In this figure 2.2, they are more. Number of vascular bundles are fewer and more. Then location of the vascular bundles. Now here, the vascular bundles in this are all on the periphery or they are on the ring towards the periphery. They are all on the outside. These ones here. So they're all on the periphery. Here they are scattered. You see there's one here, there's one here, there's one here. There's lots and lots of vascular bundles. And the word that we use is scattered. And then arrangement of xylem and phloem. In this, the inside, this is the xylem, they're all inside. So the xylem, arrangement of xylem in K1 is inner xylem and outer phloem. In K1, it is inner xylem and outer phloem. But here it is random. Because here, somewhere, here the xylem, then here is the xylem, then here is the xylem. So it is random. Some xylem is inside, some xylem are outside. Then pith, this is called the pith. Pith is present. Here the pith is absent. There is no central portion or central portion which is very typical here. No, there's no. So pith is absent. Then there are trichomes here. These hair-like structures, trichomes are present. Here they are absent. So I'm talking of K1, which I have put a diagram here of K1, which looks like could be the Cambridge slide. And then I've compared with the figure 2.2. So three observable differences, not something which you just imagine, but something which you can observe and see. So three observable differences. Now you can see the mark scheme here organizes comparison into two or three columns. Three correct differences. So you wrote feature K1, figure 2.2, you got a mark. The number of vascular bundles fewer, more. You can see this here. Location of vascular bundles in a ring towards the periphery scattered. Arrangement of xylem phloem, inner xylem, outer phloem, random. Pith present, absent. Trichomes present, absent. So this was the table that you were expected to give here. Record three observable differences in an appropriate table. Now coming to the C part of the question. Figure 2.3 is the same photomicrograph as that in figure 2.2. Count the number of vascular bundles in this quarter. Figure 2.3 shows many vascular bundles within the photomicrograph. A sampling technique may be used to estimate the number of vascular presence in the whole photomicrograph. Now part one of the question, the region shown in figure 2.3 is one quarter of the stem section. 
So we go back to 2.3. This is one quarter of the section. Count and record the number of vascular bundles in the region shown in figure 2.3. Count and record. Count and record the number. If half or more of a vascular bundle is within the region, count it as a whole vascular bundle. Do not count any vascular bundle if less than half of the vascular bundle is within the region. Mark clearly using a pen, not a pencil, on figure 2.3 each of the vascular bundles you have counted. Estimate the total number of vascular bundles in the whole photomicrograph. Show your working. So I would circle them or I would show some way by which I had counted them. So I would say, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. So I would somehow either number them or show them that I had counted them on the diagram because shows the counting on the photo micrograph gets me one mark. Then correct number of vascular bundles counted. Then shows the number of vascular bundles multiplied by four. Why? Because this would be four. So four ones are four, four twos are eight. So the total number is 84 vascular bundles in this entire photomicrograph. And you have to give this to me here. So 21 into four, 84. So the estimated number is 84. So number 21. Then if it was the correct number and shows the number of vascular bundles in the quarter multiplied by four and the correct answer. So this got you four marks. Then we come to the last part of the question. The plant shown in figure 2.3 has many vascular bundles. Suggests why it is an advantage to the plant to have many vascular bundles in the stem. That's only one mark. Now the advantage to it was helps to transport water. Many vascular bundles means what? Xylem and phloem. Many xylem and phloem. So helps to transport water and assimilates. Because the phloem transports assimilates and the xylem transports water and ions. Or you could have said, helps to support the stem. Why support the stem? Because you know there is lignin inside the xylem and that is a very big support. So it will help to support the stem. So a lot of xylem and phloem means a lot of sucrose transported in the phloem, a lot of water and iron supported in the xylem, and of course uh, uh, transported in the water and iron transported in the xylem, sucrose and amino acids transported in the phloem, and of course the lignin in the xylem will help to support the stem. So that completes this question too, and I hope it has now become easier for you to handle these questions because these questions are very easy. And everyone should be scoring something like 35 out of 40 in this paper. It's a very easy paper. You can uh, easy score very well in it. So thank you for watching and best of luck. And uh, please do comment if there are any things you want me to discuss or if something is not clear to you. Please do let me know.